Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to just go through the sample data set that we are going to use and how I procured the data. So I'm going to use Vancouver's local area wise property addresses, which are available as open data under opendata.vancouver.ca. So you can go to this link. It will take you to Vancouver City's open data portal and you will find geo local area wise uh, data available for a lot of locations. So as this is a lot of data with hundred thousands of addresses, I'm going to just use a subset of the data, which will be Riley Park, downtown and Fairview area. Now combining these three areas, we will have about 9,000 addresses. Now this data will also have geographical coordinates for each address and Azure supports a BlueGS84 or EPSG4326 format in Cosmos DB or Azure Cognitive Search Index. So make sure you download this format. Now I have these three different JSON files downloaded from the portal. If you open one of these and paste it in a JSON formatter portal, you'll find that the data for each address looks something like this. We have a data set ID, which is constant for all the properties, property address. Now each record will have a record ID, which is different for each address. And then we will have address fields. The street name, the house address, uh, the area, and, and also the geographical coordinates. Now one important thing to note here is Azure Cosmos GB and Index support supports geospatial data. Now Cosmos GB support four different type of geospatial data types. Now if I go to this link, geospatial and GeoJS on location data in Azure Cosmos GB, you'll find that they support four different type of spatial data types, point, line, string, polygon, and multi-polygon. Now you'll find some more explanation here, but comparing our data that we have, we have uh, point coordinates for each address. But then there are other data types like line string. So if you want to display a line on a map, you can have a line string data type in Cosmos DB. You can also have polygons to show an area on the map and also multi polygons. So you can have multiple areas uh, shown on a map. But out of these four data types that are supported in Cosmos DB, which will be our source, only point data type is supported in index. So you can store only point data type in Azure Cognitive Search Index. But during your search queries, you can line string, polygon, and multi polygon. And of course, we are going to focus on point data type. So if you go to another link, which is for supported data types for Azure Cognitive Search Services, you will find that only geography point data type is supported. So when we index our data from Cosmos GB to Azure Search Index, point data type will be indexed here. So that's something to keep in mind. So this is our data set and we are going to use it to build our first Azure Cognitive Search Index. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.